All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Stango. We are doing Master of the People. It has been a while because there's been a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh lately. Went to Nationals, Stango didn't go, and then it was like a bunch of tournaments and all that stuff. This has been a very busy month, but Stango, we are back and reunited, and it feels so good. How have you been, King? You know, it's been quite some time. You know, I I, I thought maybe Frazier went off and found new pupils. I thought he I thought I was all worn up and used and everything, but <laughs> oh. he finally came back to me after some time i always I think he back. just wanted a little yeah i think he just wanted a little taste of what was out there in the world <laughs> there's nothing out there for me king <laughs> there's nothing out but there. anyway we're back yes. uh and of course if we're coming back after a long hiatus we uh we came to bring you this <laughs> yeah this that's right this. i like the way yes. you said that so this deck just finished first in swiss at an online edison tournament over the weekend uh, i believe it was a ps5 tournament and this anti-meta deck got uh first in swiss i'm not sure who actually won or how it ended up in top eight because they did have a playoffs i didn't get to see how far uh this person got i believe their name is hold on let me get the name it's like nick something the name is nick dukes there you go nick dukes is the person who finished uh first in swiss i don't think they were undefeated i'm pretty sure they were excellent one in the swiss but either way uh i i know that this player is is good because they beat a true hero in swiss yep and i, I saw that replay because a true hero is actually at my apartment right now he's been here all week following nationals and he told me that he lost to anti meta and then late last night when we were looking at who ended up topping the tournament uh we saw that this nick guy ended up getting first in swiss so shout out to yep. you nick for shout putting... out to nick he was telling people to put them du put their dukes up yeah put your dukes up and they didn't want to yep. fight with his d fishers and macros and stuff so <laughs> uh but we do we want to we we do want to fight with it so i want to See if we can get some James in. I feel like it's going to be a good day, you know? I look at this deck list, and I think to myself... Yeah, this is, this is definitely going to bring... This is going to either bring good good games or good content. That's yeah. all I can see from this deck. Yeah, you know, like, it was what actually could possibly funny. go wrong? Yeah, it's actually funny. Last night, when Frazier was posting these deck lists, he was like... He just posted it and didn't say anything. And I knew exactly what he was trying to get at. Oh, yeah. He just posted it to the group chat. He didn't say a single thing. Yep. And, you know, I might have said, like, you know... What is this? <laughs> fill in the blank. You you pretty much fill in whatever 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 you think I said. There was an acronym that you used <laughs> that is uh it's deaf basically, and you said yeah. what is this blank? And, and then yeah. and then I and then what what immediately and maybe it happened the same way with Fraser would immediately had me shotgun too. My eyes ran right to the Sakuretsu armor, yes. and I just started rolling because Nick Dutes was like, all right, you know what? I always have macro up. Go yeah. ahead, start us. Yeah. Negate the Saku. Do it. Yeah, I, I dare you. you. I want you to negate Saku. I dare you. Negate him. I double dog Negate the you. Saku. So start us <laughs> beware, uh, because macro and D-Fish are here. So this is basically more copies of Dimensional Prison. A full suite of Starlight Roads. So don't ever think you're getting a Mirror Force Torrential or Heavy Storm off or Black Rose, because you'll just probably lose instantly. Uh, or this, you're getting just a draw with Dark Bribe. You're, or you're getting a draw with Dark Bribe. So it's probably really hard to get any of these back rows off the field outside of single back row removal, like Death Tornado, MST, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I haven't played an anti-meta deck. I don't think we've ever done a video where we played something like this. This is very hardcore. So I'm here to see what happens. Oh, wow. A quick one. Mm hmm So. Hot and ready. Hot and ready. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Let me get my random die generator. Okay, it gave me a four, which is this. Let me mm -hmm. say you two. Listen, it doesn't matter if we go first or second with this deck. We're summoning a monster and we're setting five. That's exactly right. <laughs> and there's not a goddamn thing that anybody could do to stop me. Yep. I want you to set this hamster and I'm going to exile force it. Oh, instantly. Oh, God. Oh, yes. All right. We actually, okay. <laughs> so, Yados, he can only be special when you have no monsters in grave, right? Yes. So, so I if guess... we do want to exile for us, we have to defissure first. Yeah, which I think we defissure anyway. Yeah, because if he chariots, we're just going to Yados beat his ass. Yeah. So, let me think about I need to read this card. You can say, okay, blah, blah, blah. So, it doesn't actually do anything. It just. If you control, if you have no monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, so activate. Okay. 
Uh, and then we might as well summon this because yeah, I it's guess a free get rid. You know what's scary though? No, I guess I guess this doesn't matter. Well, you, have saw, you have prior. You have I was gonna right, say if he so. saw him, that what would happen? But I don't think that that actually matters. Yeah, I don't think that would matter because it's like getting sent sent to the grave regardless. Yeah. I know my opponent's probably like, "What is happening?" Oh, please, chariot! I know I want it so bad. Oh, I wanted this. All so right, now, bad. now I'm a little, I'm a little not interested. The chariot, not not interested in summoning Yados now for some reason. Yeah, well, I think that we can just set row, set D prison, and pass. Yeah, this sounds good. And maybe we're idiots, and like we should be. Maybe, maybe we should just crack. Yeah, maybe we should, but right now we're just yeah. gonna do this. If that's trap stun, we get ruined. We're we're gonna we're gonna get you. We're gonna you know. We gotta get used to the deck. We're not usually in this neighborhood of the, yeah. the meta. Okay. Oh yes. Uh, I mean, does if this he, work with there's no way he just turn one set trap. Oh. Okay. That's all you want to do? That's okay. So we take oh. seventeen. I mean, we're definitely taking that. Yeah, that's allowed. Okay. Oh. Oh, more. All right. Okay. Well, well, here she is. <laughs> she just she's just out here. <laughs> she's just out here doing her thing, you know? So now at this point, if this summon goes through, I almost want to Okay. Right. I was about to say, I almost want to just wall up with it and just what are you gonna do about it? Yeah. We got we got the double road. Ugh, road is uh road is something. So I guess I just I just go in with this guy. Yeah, I mean I think it's still the same deal where you might not attack. I yeah, think we need a, a few seems... turns. We need a few turns to actually get something. Yeah, we're in a bad spot to attack. So we're just going to do that and pass. Yeah. And GBs can't beat this with a with a road and a D prison set, really. So Yeah, it's kind of hard to get over, you know, 1900 and uh, GBs. Oof. See, we're going to play a nice little game of draw pass. We don't need to set that right I'm now. I'm definitely not going to put it on the field. Uh, it's not It's not wise. All right. Well, this deck doesn't play a lot of monsters. I would like a Morphing Jar. That'd be good. Yeah, Morphing Jar would be hot. Yeah. We would love a hot jar. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, that's a good monster. What's he? Is he 17, actually? He's 18. What is he? Oh, he's big. Yes. You know what? I'm not even going to shuffle my hand. I'm just going to summon this. Yeah, out. I want him out. Bring him out. Right. Yeah, what happened to your D prisons now? Now we don't care. Okay. All right. We're in there. Uh, we got two roads. <laughs> we got two. <laughs> yeah, mirror forces. I dare you. <laughs> we got two roads it. set. It's so Where's good. your mirror force? Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Damn. Right. Okay. <laughs> good Starlight Road. <laughs> Good style I wrote. <laughs> I didn't know we were playing a burn deck too. This deck just th does it all. Mm. This is now a burn deck. Okay, so in any case. <laughs> yep. yep. Mm -hmm. I wonder, does the Edison one say it's only once per turn as well? I think it is actually. So I think if he gets bottomless off, of yeah. off of his summon, I'm going to double check real quick. DD Survivor. Mm -hmm. Narada. First copy. Oh, he's going to be so shocked when I do this. <laughs> Not him being shocked. Shocked and awed. He's going to be so shocked when I do this. You thought it was just one Starlight Road. There's a full suite. Also, I'm looking at Edison rules right now, and DD Survivor is not once per turn. Or at least, it doesn't, the, the way it reads, it doesn't have that once per turn thing on it, but let me see. The uh, once per turn has it come up in October October 4th, 2011, which I think is after Edison. So, but it, but I'm looking at the rules. It says the mandatory trigger effect activates and resolves while this card is banished in the end phase. Hold on, what's happening? Let me, you know, that summon's good. Mm hmm Go ahead. We'll tribute started us in the gate, but I guess he's going to go uh, thing. Yeah. Which is a little unfortunate, but, you know. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. we, got no, we got no responses. So what's he trying to do? He, he wants to just beat over? Yeah, I'm curious where this is going. Okay. Target. 
Oh. Okay, I'm just going to chain. Yeah. We just have another one. I'm just typing. He is typing. Let's just see if... Tiger allows... It. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah um... we're, we're not lost on that, my friend. Don't worry about that. Oh. <laughs> well, you see, ladies and gentlemen, when you play anti-meta, your, your opponent starts freaking out. Because you're not playing the game like how, you know, every other kid in the schoolyard is. Yeah. yeah so you're not playing Nia. They, the brain just starts breaking and things just start falling apart. You're definitely not playing the reindeer games that they're used to. <laughs> That's for sure. That's definitely for sure. Uh, these exile forces can go because outside of, outside of the situation yeah. we're just in, they're pretty bad. Yeah, I just wanna I just wanna get a big guy. So I think trading out those two monsters for Maybe two three K guys. I can't imagine siding. I guess you side in heavy because we're going second, but this just seems wild to me. There's just no way. There's no way that heavy storm can ever be played in this deck. You could play it to trigger your own style I wrote, which we do play a full suite of, so that's something. It is something. Uh I'm not really feeling dark brob like Really? That. You don't want a torrential? I think torrential actually might be good in, in this deck. Okay. All right. Because it's like Torrential with D Fissure and DD Survivor. It's okay. kind of cute. Okay. All right. I'll let you um, I'll let you have it. Uh let's see. We have we have a lot of battle traps. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I, I'm I'm doing seven cards. So that this yeah, can probably come up come out then. Because I'm putting in skill. This is also not good against Glad Beast, if I'm being honest. Yeah. So, I think actually the Yeah, you're what, putting in skill drain. Yeah, what um, do we want to keep? You could just uh what's going on in here? I mean, we can add a Saku back. Okay. Listen, I'm no anti-meta expert, so I am 100% open to all suggestions. I think that we're, I mean, our monster count is abysmally low, but like, I don't think there's anything else that we can do about that. Like we, we I mean, we only went minus, well, we actually went minus two on monsters because we took out Grand Mole as well. And we took out two. We traded, we traded yeah. the exiled forces and we took out, uh. Okay, but look at that. We still two. open, we still open two of them. Yeah, look at that. I mean, we only need one of them to ride out. Because most of our monsters pretty much beat all theirs. Yeah. All right. Well, so we could. I mean, I'm I'm running this DD War Lady in. You want to go into. All right. Are we setting first? Because I know what you're thinking. My spidey senses have tingled. I am not doing that. I thought about it, too. And it's, I'm, I'm actually so <laughs> I'm, I'm very impressed that you thought about Morphing Jar. Because I literally thought about it when I drew for turn. I saw what he did. Uh, but my thing is, I don't want to run into a monster like Hippo, and then it's a chariot set. And then if I go to Banish, and he goes chariot, then he goes tag out for Beast GR, he pop back row, and then I'm ruined. And it's more likely that that is the case than a Morphing Jar. And famous last words coming in. Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> uh, also take 600. Yep, 600 damage is in. Okay. Yeah. Now we set the yard. Yes. All right. Hail to no trap stun. Now imagine if he just says, I'm the GB player that plays fucking Decree, bitch. Oh, guess what? Oh, this guy doesn't do anything. He doesn't. Okay. We can really make him not do anything, or we can just Starlight Road him. But he could target one, and... Do we want to leave it the chance that he might be good? Uh, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I'm just that. That's just what I was curious of. Oh, okay. You want to play cards? What you gonna do about that? Damn, good skill drain. <laughs> drain them life points, skill drain. All right. Well, our day of reckoning is here. Drain them life points, skill drain. I'm curious yes. because the back row was certainly not trap stun now, because you were just trap stun skill drain and then continue about your day. So I'm curious of what's about to happen. Is there I mean listen, if he targets one, then like he's he's G. I think that this is a real GB player, I'm gonna say. Well, they said they misplayed last game, so maybe not. I don't know. I feel like they. You just saw Starlight Road. Though, we're gonna find two. out. We're gonna find out right now if he target if he targets one. That's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna sit here, wait quietly. Here it comes. I this guy so is very. Close. He is very like. He's yeah. very careful about all of his targets and stuff. I like, like that, that he, though. I'm. I, I, it, it's true. It's true. He just doesn't do any shortcuts, which you know, in some ways, you kind of can. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine. All right. 
I mean, this is the moment of truth. Uh, shuffle that deck before we go any further. Shuffle. Shuffle that deck up, please. Is that a singular target I saw? Okay, he picked one. Uh, yep. Two All grave. Right. Yep, you picked one. Okay. Look at that. And now... Imagine your face when you still die. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. He <laughs> fucked up. And after all that, we're, all right, we're even in cards. Oh, wow. That's actually a pretty good draw. Yes. Because we can go set and just pray to God that he sets another one. Because I'm like, <laughs> Frazier, that's a bottomless right there. Yeah. <laughs> and if this Thunder King rides out, he's fucking, he's on the Old Town Road. He's, he's riding till he can't no more. Oh, this is great. Oh my God, set one. Just set a bluff. Ugh. It's fine. There's no way he tags out for Bestiari, right? He's not that brazen. I think tagging out for Darius isn't actually a bad idea here, though. Yeah, he has options. Let me look at his grave to see if he'll take the bait. See if, you know, I just checked the grave with him just to see if he wants the dairy. Ah. Oh. What? You can't fool this these guy people, is... man. You can't fool these. Okay. It's fine. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's fine. Yep. Zing Zang Who. Zing Zang Who. He's no fun. He's no fun at parties. That's for damn sure. Okay. All right. Well. Well, now we have to play in the bottom one. Well, so yes. It's yes. about time. And if we got bottomless, then we lose. It's all right. Yeah. Wait. Is this just going to be another Thunder King pass angle? Uh, I think it is, because if they have Test Tiger, that's fine. Like, we just accept losing the Test Tiger. Uh, we can't attack, though. No, we can't. If it's not bottomless, it has to be a battle trap. Yes. He like, said Solemn with it. He did set Solemn with it. And he was willing to solemn a skill drain, so... Yeah. See? This is good. Oh. It's getting better. It's getting better real fast. Now we know we win a solemn war, guaranteed. Yeah, if there's, a so if there's ever a solemn war to be had... Yep. We win it. Okay, still one more turn with no test tag and we're good. And I can play. Yeah, we can play next turn for sure. Okay. Alright, so I guess he's gonna go contact here. We're just going to say no to that. Yeah, that's that getting, monster's not coming out. That's getting fucking solemn to all hell. Yep. That uh, monster's not coming out. So there's two ways I can He's going to pick I one could, again. I got Thunder King it. No, it's not even at. Oh, yeah, you could Thunder King yeah. it. But that's like our only aggression. I was asking if he can, if you can Thunder King it, I guess. I have an answer. Yeah, because the person, they can't cherry it. If that's, what their, if that's what their question is, can I cherry it if I use Thunder King? The answer is no, because it's not even out yet. Yeah, the monster's not here. Yeah. Thunder King is before the monster's even that's on the kinda, field. That's kind of interesting. Thunder King is actually kind of good against GBs. Yeah, randomly. Well, not even randomly. Like, it has 1900 attack, which is correct. I could negate the whole summon. So no chariot. I'm thinking oh, what to do. So, so look at us in unison. <laughs> it's, your, it's your aggression that goes away. And we have no defense. Yeah, I think I have to solemn judgment this, though. Yeah, you, I mean, you have Dark Bribe for, like, a battle trap. Yeah, so. I think I have to Solemn Judgment this. We're going to Solemn Judgment this. I, I really want to uh, keep the, the one monster I have, because if I draw a second one, I can summon it with no fear. Okay, well, that's getting negated. Yeah, that need... Yeah, that's... All right. Like, you, you got us. You made us do it. Yep. You happy? The bad part is now Iados is dead. Yeah, yeah that's... The game. That's really bad. Yeah. But well, we play only two? We do only play two. So, all right, I mean, we're loading up on defense. Yep. So this is good. Our our last two draws were very favorable for us. On a backpack loaded I think he up. doesn't know what YW means. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Yeah, you're welcome. I mean, you said you said TY, I said YW. You got to know. Yeah, I hope they know what that meant. Yeah, right. All right. Um, so, so who do we want to see? DD Survivor, even though we don't have a guy? Because it can attack into Sakuretsu. Not Sakuretsu. Damn it. This deck got me thinking other people play Sakuretsu. <laughs> it, can, it can attack into Deep Prison. And yeah, it bottomless. can attack into Sakuretsu. It can attack into Scapegoat. It can attack into uh, Wheel of Nightmare. You know? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were talking about Go Format. My bad. Yeah. Since you were talking about Sakuretsu armor and shit. Straight to hell. Mm -hmm. Thank Slap you. the cuffs on them. Straight to hell. 
I'm still mad in the comments. No one the, that that hasn't caught on yet. I don't know what's up with you viewers, but you guys are fucking up. <laughs> like, look, look what he's doing. He's slapping. He's putting his ass in jail. He's putting him in the dimensional prison. Slap the cuffs on him. Throw him in jail. Oh my god. Well, hold on. <laughs> I need to preface this because this is. <laughs> There's no oh my god with this deck. <laughs> okay? You're the you're the antichrist. There's no there's no god here. <laughs> but it's kind of hard to tell. It's like a who's who because yeah. he's also playing GBs, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where's the macro right. cosmos or deep fisher when you need it? It's so annoying because the way that card works is you only want one copy up to the number of times they get rid of it. So like I want it one, obviously, because my deck needs it, but then I don't want any additional copies because that's a lose condition for this deck. Yep. Yo, right. Beastie Art is dead. back in the deck, yeah. Yeah, because he shuffled. Mm -hmm. I think I have to... That's, uh, that's... that's a lot. I mean, we can take one? Sure. If we take one, we technically can't take damage pretty much at all anymore. Yeah. I'm even gonna... from another I'll... summon. I'll take but... it. It's fine. Like gonna, it's, it's not it's gonna... not fine, but like it's fine, you know. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, all right, you know. Uh, we set it. Yeah, I mean, it's, we, it definitely has on. to. It definitely has to get set. And then I think, I think it's, I think it's giving. We we banish the attack, unless another th guy comes out. Unless you are really bold and you just want a Sakuretsu armor, and you want to start swinging or something but yeah. that sounds like a that sounds like a a delusion i'm thinking of the number of bad draws we have and it is numerous. it's a lot it's over 10 easily it's new it might be over 15 it's a really bad number of draws that two iatos yes more d prison all copies of deep fisher macro are really bad here yep so that's five because there's five of them yes yep mm -hmm. he's sending more now he's sending in a Liquizzle. Liquizzy. Mm hmm Call the Haunted. Just do it more. Just just get more of it in. Oh, Call the Haunted is just too much. Oh. Oh, that's and... too much. Yeah, that's See, also... That's... that's also... See, the funny thing is, is that he probably doesn't know he has game if he just put... If he didn't even do anything with the Test Tiger, if he just attacked. <laughs> He probably Stop. doesn't actually know. Stop. Well, there's no he way he could know. <laughs> he literally doesn't know that he actually just kills us if he just went attack, 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 attack. <laughs> <laughs> you are ridiculous as a person. Oh, right, I'm getting well, ruined. <laughs> so if there's ever been time to do just one. Well, he's going to pop a back row first because he's going to go bring back this. Well, yeah, no, I mean, this, yeah, he's going to he's going to do just one. And if he hits the Starlight Road, which technically he should know what card is Starlight Road, because in my original set cards where he only popped one earlier, uh, I used up everything but the one card that's been sitting. This has been sitting here since turn one. So like, yeah, that's technically, true. if he's been really, really paying attention, if you played around Starlight Road earlier, then you're saying this is still that card. You would pop this. Yeah. Even in the space, like the reality where it's not, you actually don't have Starlight Road set. That's what you should be doing. You should be going after that card. Yeah. Because that's where the logic follows. Okay. Just my monster. Just the monster. Okay. All right. Uh, yep. This is fine. Mm -hmm. On the backpack, loaded up with things and knickknacks too. Okay. Anything right. that you can need, I got it just for you. Go on. Run along. I now. told him. I told him if he just attacked. Run along now. <laughs> if you just attacked with two test tigers and a prisma. This is like Book of Moon. Alright, this thing dies. Alright, now I can continue my uh my bad top decks. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. It keeps us in. Is that all the guys are? Alright, no more contacting. No more. <laughs> That's all three. We I don't know. I've how. never seen I've, I've never, never seen that before, seen, dog. I've never seen that before. I've never seen all three. I've never seen that before. I've never seen all Jizaras be be fucking blipped out of the universe. Now he has no cards. What is happening? We have an MST for Call of the Haunted 2 now. Yes. Call certainly not happening. Oh. Alright. Alright. Now we can attack. 
I mean, with a survivor. Yes. I will survive. All right. This is great. All right. Do we attack with this? I guess we we do, right? Yeah, yeah. What, is, what does he have? Sakurat's armor? <laughs> oh my god! It went through. <laughs> of course, it went through. What are you talking yeah. about? You're so ridiculous. He can't do anything to. He literally can't do anything to this. This is like this is the Imperial Iron Wall. This is a god card. <clears throat> It's a god card against GBs, I feel like. It can't, Lucari can't beat it raw. None of the back rows mean anything besides the book. I mean, uh, we have Starlight Road. And yeah. yeah, this is game. He needs he needs everything. And we already know he doesn't have Solemn, so it's over. Yeah. I can't believe we won. We went through three guys' areas. I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Hands on the trigger. Okay, sure. All right. Like, um, hmm. now nah, we can always just uh, dark bribe of brain control. Yeah, yeah. Well, he does not play brain control. It's fucking GBs. You better stop. He better stop. That's what I thought. That's what I thought about in this in this situation. I was just like, what is the reason that you would dark bribe this? Our back rows are so fake. Yeah, but our monsters are real. Our monsters are big. And our opponent's gone through three guys serious. <laughs> One of the guys serious has died to a sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Uh no. Find another way. No, find another way. Yeah, I'm definitely dark robbing that though. Yeah, <laughs> find another I'm Fraser, find another way. Yeah. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. He's smart that he didn't attack first. Yes, because that would have been disastrous. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Do I just MST one of these? I don't think so. It's just funny because I really don't think you have to. You have Starlight Road. He can't deprison the survivor. No, oh, all the test tigers are gone. Wow. He can't deprison the survivor. You have MST for Call to Haunted. I don't yeah. think there's any reason to MST at all. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think the only the only concern is like Wabaku was a card that he played a second ago. Well, if that is your concern, then you can blind MST now that you've seen your draw. Yeah. Because, like, I think seeing your draw probably had more merit than 50-50. 50 50 blying like i think call the haunt it's like you lose if he has call right and i guess has... like wabaku is also a loss if you attack into it now but seeing your draw step i think yeah i mean we're just gonna do this we fought to go fight this game <sighs> <laughs> activate oh sakurai server how is this real what do you mean how is it re it's he can't do anything to it <laughs> He literally can't touch that monster. Okay, I don't know if this of attacking with. Maybe I'm thinking too much into this, but I feel like attacking with this Barbara. Can you wrong. attack with this fucking thing? Okay, I'm being bullied here, guys. <laughs> Just by the way, I don't think this is right. <laughs> yeah. I okay, mean, this is fine. It's not, but okay. What do you mean it's not? We're fine. We have him as T for call. None of his monsters. You keep do talking anything. about this call little haunted, which he okay, probably sided out. Do you? I think he sided that shit out. That could be true. All right, we win. I don't know. <laughs> How do we win? I, actually, actually, we. This is. Hmm. We have to keep attacking. We have yeah, to. If he, if he Marmillo pops us though. Oh my god. We can't. We bestie. can't. The problem is that we can't think. <laughs> I saw you hover. Over the MST. <laughs> <laughs> Just summon your fucking guys and attack. Oh. This is great. I hope it was Mirror Force. I'm so glad you didn't M phase it. Let it be Mirror Force. Damn, look at him. He's compulsing a fucking survivor. Uh can we survive an attack if no, we actually can't. Yeah, I think you just pass. Oh my god. Yeah, I literally cannot. Yep. Just uh, pass. Yeah, I think well, I... let's actually count his grave. Have we even? I feel like we haven't actually counted his grave for what he could have back there. No, we're just passing. You don't even want to look? No, I already I actually already know. 
Oh, okay. I haven't seen the Mirror Force yet, and I've been looking for that specifically. Um, and I think that it's back here, and I think that he knows I have Starlet Road because he's been playing around it the entire game. GG. GG's. Wow, we actually won. That's insane. We got to watch the replay because I'm so confused on what actually happened. <laughs> well, why are they asking I, me I know you why you're robot? confused. That was wild. Is that a new thing? Are they doing that now? Uh, I saw that today when I was looking at replays. I thought it was maybe like it happens once and it doesn't happen again, but yeah. Yeah, I guess it is happening all the time. This situation was ruinous. How did we We just won this game. Like what? Of course. Look at our look at our guy. He comes back. Look at him go. He comes. He comes back like a disease. Can't escape. No escape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is great. Mm -hmm. What's back there? Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he didn't want to do that. Oh uh, well, I guess you can banish. Yeah. yeah. Damn, he should have solved that. Oh, his hand was—he's like, I can't handle skill drain. Like, please don't. <laughs> <Please don't laughs> <skill drain> me. <laughs> yeah, we survived three giant zars. Yep, here's the first one. Which one does this die to? A Sakuratsu? Oh my god, two of them died to Sakuratsu armor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, not two of them going down. Is that two of them? <laughs> that was definitely two of them. Oh man, that Zang Zang Who would have ruined him. Yeah, that wasn't coming out. Yep, and that wasn't coming out either. Mm -hmm. yep. Slap the cuffs on him. Mm -hmm. Oh, there was a chariot back here, which I expected at this point in the game. Yeah, there was a lot of draw pass in this game, so. Here's the third one. Yep. Yo, the, fir the first two went by so quickly so right that I here, forgot about. Before he summoned this, he should have used Test Tiger on Beast GRA to bring out Beast to GRA. Get another again. pop. Yeah, because yeah. this just died on the end phase with no value. So this was this was his misplay right here. Well, this is the only one that I really uh, care to mention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Just this something about Gazeria's dying so to a Sakuratsu armor is just fucking, it's comical to me. Oh, he, what a, what's it, uh, my, my, b -b 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 my body's a shield. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I love how we that's... told him, do it again. I want to <laughs> This thing attacking is so obnoxious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was just bullshit. Yeah, he was actually bullshitting us the whole time. I had anxiety for no reason. <laughs> oh, that was a lot. That that was intense. Well, that is the antiest of metas. Uh, we may do another, you know, duel with this. But for right now, I'm going to end this episode. And we will catch you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.